Hey guys, so we're gonna be doing another Will I Buy It today. I was just looking back on my videos. It felt like I had just done this, but it's actually been a long while. So I thought it was high time to do another one. These videos are inspired by Samantha March, who does a Will I Buy It every single Wednesday on her channel. Definitely check it out. I'm sure you guys are well aware of them. So let's go ahead and jump right on into this list. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. A lot of the things on this list I actually got from just going onto the What's New page on like, you know, like nemamarcus.com or Nordstrom or Bergdorf, um, all of those places where I usually like to purchase some makeup. And then there's maybe a couple things that I found out from Trend Mood. One, which is an Instagram account. She does uh, basically like new beauty releases um, or beauty news on her Instagram feed. So I'll link to that down below. I'm pretty sure you guys are probably well aware of her Instagram feed, uh, but a lot of these I did get off of some sites. But anyway, let me go ahead and start with this one. So this one I actually mentioned in my Will I Buy It? So I thought I would do a little follow-up. So this is the Hourglass Foundation. This is the new Vanish Liquid Foundation. I think I kind of posed the question like, are you guys interested in me testing it out? Um, and a lot of you wanted me to test it out. So when I was in New York City towards the end of January. I was actually in store at Barney's and they had uh, samples there. They weren't selling it yet, but they had samples there. I was completely barefaced. I had like moisturizer on. So I thought, why don't I go ahead and give it a shot? So I tried it out in store and it just, I don't know, it just wasn't a foundation for me. It was very matte on my skin and it was very, very full coverage. And the woman said, you know, you have to work quickly. So she only put like one on my cheek and then like spread it out. Then she put another dot on this cheek, spread it out because it sets down very quickly. And I'm like, ugh, like, I just don't like working that way. It seemed fussy to me. And it seemed like a lot of work for a foundation that I wasn't even that excited about. So I won't be getting that foundation. And I'm glad I didn't pick it up because it seems like it's not getting very good reviews either. I'm not really sure. I, I know I'm not that interested in the foundation. So I really haven't been watching that many reviews, but that seems to be what I've been hearing. But anyway, I just want to let you know that I won't be getting that foundation because it's just not, it's not for me. It's not for, I really don't think it's great for dry skin. Um, another thing you guys were curious about whether or not I was going to be purchasing is the Wayne Goss Synthetics brush set. I was really excited for them. I was looking forward to it. And then when the date started to approach, the release date started to approach, I was just kind of taking a closer look at some of the teaser photos and I decided to pass because I really didn't like the shapes that were released. The fan brush just kind of looked like a wimpier kind of version of the Sonia G Sculpt One brush. Ooh, sorry, my heat just kicked on, so. If you hear a little humming in the background, that's that. Um, it's freezing here in Vegas. It's actually interesting. I love it. I love it. I love wintertime. Anyway, I apologize for the little humming in the background. Oh, the Wayne Goss synthetics. So I just didn't like the shapes that were being offered. I would really have loved just more traditional shapes just to see like, are these synthetics uh, better or at least on par with a lot of my natural haired brushes. And I think it's hard to kind of compare if they're not kind of like traditional, typical kind of shapes. So I passed on those. If he does come out with more shapes, more just, you know, typical shapes, like just a round uh, powder brush, um, a round kind of fluffy blending brush for the eye, uh, a cheek brush, you know, just basic shapes, then I will be tempted for sure to purchase some and give them a shot. So Armani has come out with a new cushion and a new concealer. Now, I don't really know how new new this cushion is i feel like i've seen it and it probably has been released like in asia first but it is now available in the u.s and when i read the description of it i thought i need to pass on this i think it is like a cushion version of their power fabric foundation which is a more full coverage a more like matte velvet kind of finish and again, that's just not for me. I just don't like full coverage matte foundations. They're not for me. I don't like the look of full coverage foundations. I really don't like matte finishes, especially on my dry skin. I just look so corpse-like. So I'm definitely gonna be passing on the cushion, but I am slightly tempted with the concealer. The concealer is supposed to be full coverage. It is also supposed to be matte. I think for concealer, that's fine. It's not like I really want a lot of dewiness underneath my eyes. I'm not really into that look. I know a lot of people like that. They think it looks like really brightening, which I think it does. And I think when I've done that on camera, it looks really nice. But in real life, I feel like I just look like I'm sweating, like I have the under eye sweats. To me, that's not really the look I'm going for. So I don't really mind a matte concealer. 
aside from the fact that I feel like it may emphasize my lines, but I am very curious about it because I really like Armani concealers. And there was a, not the master corrector that comes in the tube, but one that came in like a squeezy tube with like a pointy tip. That one I really loved. It's been discontinued now at least, at least a year or so but I really liked that concealer and I generally like Armani like base products. So I am really curious about that concealer. If you guys are dying for me to give it a shot, let me know down below in the comment section. If I get enough responses, I will definitely get it. I will definitely get it. If not, I will keep thinking on it. <laughs> Next up, I see that Chanel has a new foundation. This is the Ultra La Tente. And I think that this is not totally brand new. I think this is a reformulated version of a previously released foundation. And I was so intrigued. I was really excited until again, I read the description, but this is supposed to be a lightweight foundation glides onto the skin, but it's a long wearing full coverage matte finish 24 hour foundation. Again, those are all like trigger words for me. Oh, my heat just went off. Those are all trigger words for me that are like, no, it's just not, it's not for me. Again, full coverage, matte, 24 hour wear. I don't want makeup to last on my skin for 24 hours. That scares me. I just don't. I feel like any makeup that lasts on your skin for 24 hours is scary. I think that's scary. So I was excited for this foundation, but I'm gonna have to pass. You know, in the past I have gotten foundations that I knew weren't for me, but I thought, oh, maybe I'll like them. And it, it's just the stupidest thing because if I know that there are properties of it that I do not like, like matte and full coverage, then what is the point? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if I thought like one foundation would completely change my mind and my taste, but that hasn't ever been the case and I don't think it will be going forward. So I will be passing on this foundation. So I'm just scrolling down on the Nordstrom site and Sulwa Su, which is a Korean brand, they have an essential lip serum stick. This looks very enticing to me. It is a serum-based lipstick that replenishes vital nutrients and adds a sheer healthy flush of color to lips. It's ideal for anyone who wants to relieve dry lips, double layer of oil and water for lasting hydration. There's camellia oil and safflower complex, apricot kernel oil. I am very, very intrigued by this. And it looks like there are, let's see, eight different colors. The first one looks like it's going to be completely clear. It's hard to tell online with just these swatches, but the seven remaining colors look really nice. There's like a bright pink, there's like a deeper red, and then the rest look fairly light and neutral. So I think I'll pick one of these up and just see how it works. And if it is indeed very moisturizing, and I think if the color isn't too sheer, it may be worth getting another one. If it is too sheer, then getting more colors isn't gonna make a difference. I don't think you can really, like if a lip product is too sheer, you just can't tell the difference between the colors. But anyway, that's for a later discussion. But I think I do wanna try these. These look really good. And I've been using my very first Suwasu product, which is the First Care Activating Serum. I just hauled it in my PR haul that I filmed last week, and I'm really liking it. I think it's helping my skin stay soft and like retain moisture. So anyway, I'm now kind of like intrigued by this brand a little bit more. I know they've been on Beautylish for a while and I've always kind of like taken a look at their page, but nothing has really jumped out at me. But this looks really good and because I've been using that one serum and I like it, I, I'm definitely much more intrigued. So I think I'll be ordering this one soon. And then still on the Nordstrom site, right next to this lip serum stick is a NARS Mosaic Glow Blush. It's limited edition and it looks like it has, it looks like it's pixelated and it looks like there's a bronzer, a blush and a highlight at the top. I am definitely passing on this. I do love NARS, but this looks, first, this looks really dated. And it's also strange. I don't understand why this is being released. I don't know if it's part of a larger line, but it seems like, at least on Nordstrom, it seems like it's just all by itself. And it seems, it's just, I don't know, it's just a weird individual singular release. Very, very odd. But some things coming from NARS that do look intriguing. This is from the Trend Mood one. Uh, Instagram feed and it looks like they have <laughs> I'm like such a broken record they have afterglow lip balms so these are sheer color with a shine these look very intriguing to me and then they have some new lip glosses I think they're calling them lip duos but they're really metallic kind of glittery lip glosses and I am very excited for that I really like glittery bright metallic lips 
and I do like the NARS lip gloss formula, so I think I'll definitely be picking up a few of these. There's a gold one in there, which you guys know I will have to pick up. There's one that looks like there's like uh, champagne gold uh, flex in there. That one I'll probably need to pick up as well. Need, you know, need to pick up as well. And then there's two pinks, one light, one dark. Probably I'll pick up the light one, but this looks like it's part of the NARS spring 2019 line. And this looks exciting. It says it's coming soon, March through April. So in about another month or so. So I'm probably talking about a little bit too soon, but they looked intriguing to me. So I definitely wanted to mention them. And then um, Charlotte Tilbury has come out with, I don't know if it's a pack of three or just three different Matte Revolution lipsticks, but they are the 90s lipsticks. I think these lipsticks were... Uh, inspired by like the 90s supermodel. Yeah, one is called Super 90s, one is Supermodel, and one is Super Sexy. And I like immediately jumped onto these. I really, really wanted them. And then I remembered that as much as I like this matte formula from Charlotte Tilbury, it's probably one of the few matte formulas that I like. I'm just, I just don't really like matte formulas. And while I would probably wear these, I would much prefer if these were in her kissing formula. I really like her kissing formula, which is a much more basic kind of like cream lipstick. So I think I'm just gonna pass on these. I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks all kind of in the nude, nude-ish, brownish kind of family. So I probably have colors very, very close to this. So passing on these, and wow, there really isn't a lot that I want from this Will I Buy It. Usually I feel like I'll be getting that, I'll be getting that. But this one I feel like I'm passing. Um, although we're coming up on two things that I think I may want to try. The first one is a brand new Sicily mascara. Now you guys know that I'm not like really into mascara. I've been wearing it more, but ever since I started using that uh, Can Make Japanese like quick lash curler, which once I curl my lashes and I put that in, my lashes actually stay curled. And it's been like life changing because now I'm like, ooh, like I can wear mascara on top of that and it actually makes a difference and I'm actually developing opinions on mascara for once. So Sicily has uh, released this brand new mascara. I first started seeing this mascara because it was used on Emma Stone for the SAG Awards and not that I felt like her eyelashes looked especially beaming, but it just caught my attention. I really like Emma Stone. And I thought, oh, maybe this is a mascara I wanna try. So the name of the mascara is So Volume. So I think it's supposed to give you a lot of volume volume and intensity. Um, I'm on the Sicily Instagram feed now and it says anything is possible with big lashes. Oh, it comes in three shades, black, brown, and uh, blue. And the wand looks nice. It's straight. It's not curved or anything. It doesn't look especially big or especially fluffy. It looks kind of like a pretty basic mascara. I'm trying to see if it's like waterproof or anything. I don't think so. It doesn't say anything about it being like long wearing. Um, or waterproof or anything like that. So I think its claims are really just it's volumizing and that there's three colors. I should really try the navy blue color. I think I'll pick up that one. And then the last thing I wanted to mention is something that's limited edition from Clay de Poe. So when I went to New York, um, if you guys watched my uh, latest haul video, it was after I came back from New York, I purchased uh, some of their new refining lip luminizers and I also got one of their highlighters. And I think they also came out with two new cream eye color. They're calling them eye, limited edition cream eye color solo. And one color is 309, which is like this nice deep rich brown. But I've also seen one that is uh, like a very, very kind of light eggshell kind of color. I think those are the two new limited edition colors that they've released for spring. I don't know where the other one is. If I find it, I'll pop a picture up here. As you guys know, I love the Clay de Peau cream blush that comes in the pot. I really love the texture, but I've never tried any of their cream eyeshadows. You guys also know that I am a total and complete sucker for anything that comes in a little pot. So I really want to pick these up. I think very rarely has Clay de Peau ever steered me wrong. So I think I'm going to be picking um, at least this one dark brown color up, this 309. I don't know about the other color. That other color may just kind of look like concealer. I'm not exactly sure, but I am really just dying to test out this formula. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know down below in the comment section if there is a new release that's come out that I completely forgot to mention. You want me to test it out, I would be happy to, so long as it's not a matte full coverage foundation. That, I'm not gonna try. And subscribe before you leave. I would love that. I'll see you in my next video.